Good afternoon it, or good morning. Yesterday afternoon, the markets hit the downslide, and Randy Martinson of Progressive Ag yesterday afternoon uh, was very painful. How are we doing this morning? Well, you know, a little bit better than yesterday. A little bit cooler had to come in to prevail, and we're seeing a little bit of gains here in the uh, overnight session so far in, in the early part now. Right now we're looking at Chicago wheat currently trading with about six cent gains. Kansas City's up five to six cents. Minneapolis is up four to six. And in the corn market we're up three and beans are up about ten cents right now as we uh, kind of uh, go through the hangover of the report from yesterday. Wow, yeah, yesterday was, uh, was yesterday overdone? Are we trying to get some, or are we down to a point where buying can happen by the processors? Well, I think it probably wasn't overdone yesterday cause, because you look at just how much or how wide a difference it was from what the trade anticipated to where the market actually came in at. So we really did need to see some pretty good pressure come into the market. And we had variances of 300 million bushels in the ending stock estimate for soybeans from what the trade anticipated to what it really came in at. And that uh, I think there were some unrealistic expectations in this report, mm -hmm. and I think that really had a lot of people run in the wrong direction at the wrong time. And there was a lot of arguing and uh, analysis and second guessing of USDA. What do you think? Well, I, I think you know there's there's always that that takes place, and I think at this moment in time, I think USDA is right. Uh, you know, with crop conditions not declining over the last. Uh, four to six weeks, it was going to be tough for USDA to lower the yield just because they, we haven't seen any field uh, observances that, have, that should, ver that should uh, help do that mm -hmm. at this point. So I think leaving the yield would have been better. I don't agree with raising the yield like they did. I thought they should have left it unchanged. But the crop is pretty good in the West. In the east, there's damage, but it looks like we're overshadowing what's happening. Was it coincidental that China devalued its currency uh, yesterday and the day before, or did they want to give us a one-two punch? I think there was a one-two punch. I mean, after they did it the first time, they said, this is the only time we're going to do it. And then the next morning, they said, oh, by the way, this was, we just didn't think we'd do this, but we're doing it again anyway. Yeah. And that, of course, sent some pretty good shockwaves through the U.S. economy because of the fact that China owns so much of our debt and the idea that they won't come in and invest anymore or buy our products, that also added to the, uh, the frenzy a little bit. All right. Well, Randy, thank you so much. Uh, let's hope that the um, upside to the markets will continue through the day. Thanks for your input. Yep, thank you. You bet. 4.55, coming up next to check in the forecast and a preview of what's coming up next on The Valley today.